dangerous serial killers who were never caught. The Jennings Killer In the small town of Jennings, Louisiana, eight women were killed between 2005 and 2009. All of the women were prostitutes, and they all knew each other, which is rare for serial killers. The strange thing was that the women may have known they were going to die. One of the victims even told her mother not to make her a birthday cake as she wouldn't be alive much longer, and another victim told her friends and family that she was helping the cops solve a case. Because of the link to the authorities, it has been speculated that the serial killer is actually a cop. Stone Man The Stone Man killer brought fear to the city of Calcutta, India, who killed at least 13 homeless people in their sleep in 1989. The murders took place over a span of six months, starting in June of 1989. The reason for the name Stone Man was due to the fact that the victims were murdered from a large stone or concrete mass being dropped upon them. Police were never able to find the killer, let alone determine whether the rest of the murders were a copycat or not. It is one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in India. The Freeway Phantom From 1971 to 1972, Washington, D.C. was unsafe for you if you were an African-American female. From April 1971 through September 1972, six victims from the ages of 10 to 19 were abducted, raped, and strangled by an unidentified serial killer who still remains at large. While there have been some suspects of interest, there has never been enough evidence to arrest or charge any of them. Smiley Face Killers the Smiley Face Killers are believed to have been responsible for the drownings of over 45 college-aged men in 11 different states from the 90s to the 2000s. The reason why the name Smiley Face was given is due to the Smiley Face graffiti found at each location where victims have been found. New York City police detectives Kevin Gannon and Anthony Duart believe that the deaths are all connected and could be possibly conducted by a group of killers. The February 9th Killer the February 9th killer is an unidentified serial killer who is responsible for the 2006 rape and murder of 29-year-old Sonia Meja and her unborn baby, as well as the 2008 murder of 57-year-old Damiana Castillo. The murders were all committed on February 9th in Salt Lake City, Utah. Police have the DNA, but because the killer has no criminal record, he cannot be identified. It is speculated that the killer is a young Hispanic boy, but nothing is for certain. Connecticut River Valley Killer the Connecticut River Valley Killer is an unidentified serial killer who has killed over seven people with a knife in Claremont, New Hampshire, around the Connecticut River Valley area in the 1980s. Three women disappeared in the mid-1980s and two of the remains were found with multiple stab wounds. The remains of multiple women have been found since 1978 until 1987, and while all the bodies have been linked to the serial killer, no one has been identified. The Bone Collector in 2009 in West Mesa, a suburb of Albuquerque, New Mexico, a woman saw a bone sticking out of the ground while she was walking her dog. After alerting the police, the area was dug up and the remains of 12 people were discovered, which included 11 women and a fetus believed to have been killed between 2002 and 2005. In 2010, West Mesa police released a series of images of unconscious women who were believed to be linked to the bone collector and needed help in identifying the women. The source of the photos remains unknown and the killer is still at large. The Craigslist Ripper Also known as the Long Island Serial Killer, the Craigslist Ripper is a name given to an unidentified serial killer who has killed between 10 and 17 people over the course of over 20 years starting in 96. The victims were all part of the sex industry, including escorts and prostitutes. Their bodies have all been dumped along the Ocean Parkway near Gilgo Beach and Oak Beach on Long Island. The first batch of four victims was found in December 2010 with six more bodies found in the spring of 2011. The killer still remains at large. The Highway of Tears. Highway of Tears is located on Highway 16 between Prince George and Prince Rupert, British Columbia. On this 500 mile stretch of road, 16 women have been murdered between 1969 and 2006. However, these are just the 16 women that have been found. Over 43 families have claimed they have lost a loved one on the stretch of road. Unfortunately, because these murders have taken place on a highway, the killer or killers is likely to be a truck driver, drifter, or traveler. This means that this serial killer can be right down the street from you. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Here are some other videos that you might like. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks.